And the news that we've broken to you is that the organizers of that presentation, which showed that the India map had erroneously left Pakistan-occupied Kashmir out, have tendered an unconditional apology to India. Queensland University has tendered an unconditional apology for putting out a map in that presentation with POK messing. Let's go straight across to managing editor Rahul Kaval, who's on the ground in Brisbane. Uh, Rahul, Queensland University, quick to react uh, you know, to this glaring error, especially with the Prime Minister of India in the audience. They've apologized unconditionally. That's correct. And this has been taken up, Shiv, at a very senior level. We are told uh, that the Foreign Secretary, Sujata Singh herself, uh, took up this issue, raised the red flag, that this is absolutely not acceptable, and uh, the Queensland Institute, uh, the Queensland Institute management responded with great alacrity. They apologized unconditionally, immediately. You know, this is being taken very seriously uh, in India, and of course, people not happy in the least uh, with what happened. But uh, from the perspective of the institute and from the perspective of the people who put this presentation together, they were not aware, they say, of the diplomatic sensibilities in India, the sensitivities in India with regards to the area of Aksai Chin, uh, and therefore uh, they put out this map. They say that you know, it is completely inadvertent. Their focus was on robotics, farming technology. Their focus was on you know, how India and Australia can cooperate to increase farming yield. And the last thing they would have thought uh, would be that they'd get into some sort of a di diplomatic storm. That's the last thing that they would have wanted. Yes. And they've apologized immediately and unconditionally to the government of India for this fiasco. So the Prime Minister was sitting there through this uh, event. It's not uh, fully known yet whether or not he noticed but in any case given that this wasn't say China that this wasn't Pakistan this wasn't taken as a snub this wasn't taken as an insult this was just taken as you know a mistake which probably should have been avoided yes but it's just one of those things that happen when you're dealing with the students when you're dealing with a an academic body so that's the sense in which they've taken a shift and uh, you know the, the 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 message that goes out is that the uh, uh, the organizers of that event uh, didn't want this to, you know, become a problem. I remember about six to seven years ago uh, in South Africa, there was a similar event uh, when an Indian delegation had gone and that had become a minor diplomatic event because an apology hadn't come, you know, as quickly as this time. This time, they've just nipped it in the bud, Rahul. Uh, that, that is correct. Uh, that is correct. And I'm glad that they responded because they saw, especially on social media, with several Twitter handles owing allegiance to the Samajwadi Party, uh, others with you know leanings towards anti-BJP forces, picking this up and especially raising the question about why the Prime Minister was sitting around. This trip's been going quite well yes. uh, so far, and they didn't obviously want any kind of uh, uh, they didn't want any kind of bitterness uh, in the midst of all of this. So they've taken up this issue, and it's interesting. It's not some uh, junior-level official who spoke to exactly. the Queensland University. Uh, they've, they've raised this at the level of the Foreign Secretary, indicating uh, the importance that they attach to this, that this is not something that India can accept at all, and that uh, the Queensland management also has responded and said, we're very, very sorry for this terrible lapse. We are very happy to have the Prime Minister. Uh, the students were very motivated. They had, you know, they went away feeling that here's something that uh, they benefited from, and that it's very unfortunate that something like this happened in the end. Thanks very much, uh, Rahul. You'll see Rahul's uh, reports from Brisbane right through the day today here on Headlines Today and also his special broadcast at 10 p.m. from Brisbane on the Prime Minister's Oz Outreach. Don't forget to tune in at 10 p.m. for that special broadcast from Brisbane, Australia.